Hey guys, how are you doing? And welcome to the final unit of this level 15, unit number 12. Okay, so let's begin. In this unit, you're going to learn to describe and define types of goals. And number two, you're going to learn to explain and give reasons. Okay, so let's begin with lesson number one. And in this lesson one, we're going to uh, check some ways to describe goals. The first one is describing a goal with an infinitive, right? Using to plus an action. So we have to and an action. For example, remember we're describing goals. So imagine that my goal is get good grades. All right, that's my objective. Then how am I going to achieve this uh, this goal? Well, study at least 30 minutes a day. That's how I am going to get good grades. Okay, so in this case, how do I describe this goal? Well, I could say something like, in order to get good grades, it's important to study at least 30 minutes a day. All right, in order to get good grades, it's important to study at least 30 minutes a day. As you can see, we have the infinitive to get and to study. All right. So to plus an action. This could this is another example. What is your goal? Buy my first car. How? save money and have a good credit score so in this case how would you describe the goal again using an infinitive to plus a verb you would say something like in order to buy your first car it's a good idea to save money and have a good credit score okay in order to buy your first car it's a good idea to save money and have a good credit score we also could uh, describe a goal using the word for and a noun, all right? So in this case, we're not focused on actions, we're focused on nouns, right? So as you can see, the goal, what is the goal? A successful business, right? So we don't have uh, any actions, we just have nouns, business, a successful business, okay? How are you going to achieve that goal? Well, you need um, an established niche and you need a good business plan. Again, business plan, niche are nouns, they're not actions, all right? And then, how would you describe, uh, how would you describe this goal? Well, you could say something like, in order for a business to be successful, it needs to have an established niche and a good business plan, all right? In order for a business to be successful, it needs to have an established niche and a good business plan, all right? So again, we have nouns uh, for, so for a business, right? And we also have other nouns such as business plan, a good business plan, and uh, you need to have an established niche okay and we have another example here the same using for in a noun for example a healthy body okay so this is not an action again this is a noun body a healthy body how are you going to achieve that goal well uh, you need to eat or have fruits vegetables and exercise okay so you would say something like, in order for our body to be healthy, it has to have fruits, vegetables, and exercise, okay? In order for our body to be healthy, it has to have fruits, vegetables, and exercise, okay? Well, moving on to the second topic, we have keywords to give reasons, right? So uh, a lot of people relate the, the question with uh, the question why. 
because that question asks for a reason or reasons and a lot of people if not most people are familiar with the word because because it's the most common and yeah that's the most common and most used word to give a reason but nevertheless we also have other examples we have since we have because of we have for we have due to and we have the reason is okay so for example using the word because imagine if someone asks you why do you like rainy days well I like rainy days because I can stay home and read okay and we have the word because and then you give the reason because I can stay home and read then we have since okay so if imagine if someone asks or is talking about Johnny's bar right that it's maybe not the best place and people maybe want to know why right why is it a terrible place then in this case what is the reason well it's always crowded so instead of saying because you could also say since since it's always crowded Johnny's bar is a bad place to go okay since it's always crowded that's the reason we also have the word because of all right so imagine here uh, if someone asks you know, why why would Mexico be such a nice place to visit well then maybe you could answer or give a reason and say Mexico is very popular or Mexico is popular because of the many tourist destinations okay again the reason because of the many tourist destinations all right then we have the word for right in this case um, well I don't know if you've watched the movie The Revenant it's a very uh, it was a very popular movie uh, during this decade and well, why if you ask why is it such an interesting movie or why is it such a popular movie well first of all the bear scene right where Leonardo DiCap DiCaprio fights with a huge bear but that's not the case in this case the Revenant is known for its beautiful sceneries right so yes it is uh, maybe an interesting movie but also the film and the sceneries are beautiful right so you could say something like the Revenant is known for its beautiful sceneries then we have due to okay another way to give a reason so in this case maybe the question is why do plane flights get cancelled so much well you could say flights usually get cancelled due to weather conditions right what is the reason due to weather conditions and finally you could uh, you could say the reason the reason and then is right so for example the reason people smoke is to feel less anxious the reason people smoke is to feel less anxious all right so this is the the end of lesson number one I will see you for lesson number two see you later